Governor Asa Hutchinson's directives, large indoor venues cannot open until May 18th. Despite this, one River Valley venue plans to move forward with a concert three days before that date. Fox 24's Clarissa Bustamante and Fort Smith to break down the reasoning behind this decision and the consequences that could follow. The uh, concert for May 15th, as of right now, is it still on? It is. Temple Live in Fort Smith is expecting over 200 people to show up to see Travis McCready of Bishop Gunn next week. With the CDC requirements for social distancing, uh, that reduced our capacity to about 20%, which is roughly 228 or 9 seats. While mindful of CDC rules, the date of the concert breaks Governor Asa Hutchinson's directive, which doesn't allow venues like this one to open until May 18th. Mike Brown with Temple Live says he doesn't understand why venues are being treated differently than places of worship. What's the difference between a church with 200 people in it that are six feet apart versus a music venue that has 200 people in it that are six feet apart? So if the show goes on... Who's in charge of enforcing these directives? Well, the Department of Health uh, is in charge of enforcing directives. We in public health tend to be rather peaceful people, and we don't carry firearms for the most part. Uh, so we do depend on local law enforcement, and when that's not possible, uh, we've got a good working relationship with the Arkansas State Police as well. We followed up with the Sebastian County Health Department, who directed us back to the Arkansas Department of Health's comments. And Brown says he doesn't feel like what he's doing will be a risk to the public's health. I think that it is a whole... Uh, I think people are being responsible, um, and they just want to get out of their houses, and they want to get back to some sort of normalcy, and, and music's important to people. If the concert doesn't happen, Brown says ticket holders will be refunded. In Fort Smith, Clarissa Bustamante, Fox 24 News. Thank